They say dogs are man's best friend, but on Middle Island in Victoria, dogs and penguins are even closer than that. Some specially trained Marema dogs have the job of protecting local penguins from foxes there. We caught up with them as a new puppy recruit joined the team. The first puppy is arrived and um, he's a pretty ha bit of a handful at the moment. This new four-legged recruit has a very important job. First time in the world they've used Marama dogs to look after um, native species, so we're yeah, really lucky to be involved in that. Yep, you heard right. This Marema dog is here to protect native Australian animals. In fact, he's a penguin protection puppy. And his job will be to protect a colony of little penguins on Middle Island, just off the southern coast of Victoria. He'll be uh, living on the island through the summer breeding season uh, looking after penguins. So the dogs are generally used in um, Australia as uh, stock protectors. So uh, in free range chickens and farms and those sorts of things. Um, so our dogs and our program uses these dogs. Uh, natural ability to, pr to protect things. But hang on, how come these poor little penguins need protecting? Well, this movie about the story explains it pretty well. In a remote part of the world, there's a magical island where thousands of the littlest penguins of them all make their home. But foxes found the island, and in just a few short years, there were hardly any penguins left. Thankfully, that was when this local chicken farmer, Swampy Marsh, yep, that's his real name, came up with a brilliant idea to help. Well, the short story is the penguin colony was being predated on by foxes. And I knew that these dogs would protect the chooks and on other properties they protect sheep and goats as well. The thing we said was, why not use a European guard dog to fight a European predator? All Maremas have a very strong sense of territory in the same way that a wolf does. He's saying to the fox, go away, I'm here, this is my territory. So in 2006, these two white knights were brought in to begin guarding penguins on the island. And over the past 10 years, sisters Yudi and Tula have done an amazing job. Before the program started, there were only 10 penguins left on Middle Island. But by 2013, there were 180. But these days, Yudi and Tula are getting a little old for fox chasing. And that's why this little guy is here. But it'll take a lot of training to get him up to speed, including starting work with some chickens. The famous story is the penguins are just chooks in dinner suits, so if we can train him to look after the chooks, low to the ground feathered variety, that should be transferred over to the penguins. It might not be the most obvious idea. I think like anything involving penguins, dogs, people, um, islands, uh, water, you're never going to get uh, a, a perfect but it may very well be the cutest way we've heard of to protect some very special native Aussie animals. 